In one of our last lectures, we made this report here in the front visible in Manager. This is now available for data administrators. Remember, if I just select here the role class job basic roles, and if I hit here the button job title structure overview, I get automatically displayed a new report I created before. In a new business scenario now, I like to make this report available for non-data administrators, and that means, for example, for business users. And the group of business users I like to stuff with that report is the group of attesters of the job basic role structure. So if I switch to the job basic role class, here it is. And if I step into the master data page, you can see here's an attester role assigned. It's identity manager business roles attesters. And to find this again, I can just walk in manager here to one identity manager application roles. And here is identity management business roles attesters. This is the group of people I want to equip with that specific report. Here they are. I don't want to give them the complete access to Manager because Manager is a main data administration tool and it's dangerous. So I like to give them access for this specific report in the web. And as you know, in the web portal, we don't allow people to create reports directly. The reason is pretty easy. If 10 people at the same time try to generate a report with the same web application, that will slow down the speed of the complete application. And so we only allow to subscribe to such reports. To make that possible, the first thing I have to do is to take my new report and make it subscribable exactly for that group of people. To do that in the manager, in the first step, first thing to do is I have to go to report subscription. Here we are. This is the place where I can make reports subscribable. For this report will not exist any subscription. The reason is it is pretty new. And so I create one. I just select subscribe reports. And there I can just create a new subscription. Here we are. I have to enter a name and I need the report to assign. This is that one here. I don't need a service item because nothing is available for a request in IT shop, but here we are. This is my report subscription. I save the report subscription. And the next step is to get the allowance to use the report. So report preview, here it is. Yes, of course, that is the right report. And again, back to my subscription, I need now to assign a group of people who are allowed to use the report. And to do that, I have a couple of options. For example, I can assign organizations, business roles, people directly, and I can as well assign application roles. And that is exactly what I like to do. Remember, we want to make the group of attesters enabled to use this report subscription. Therefore, I step to assign application roles. Here is identity manager. Here are the business roles and here are the attesters of the business role. I check that, I save the assignment and from now on, the people who are member of this attesters role should now be able to subscribe the report. To show you that, let's go to the manager. Let's jump to the role. Here are the members and I like now to take one of these members who is not part of the role. So. Let me look for a specific administrator, not part of the role. For example, Silva Goliar, it's not part of this list. So I take this user first, just to show that this person is now not able to, uh, to, subscribe, the, uh, to subscribe the report. Therefore, I need here the central account and step in my test front end, my standard web portal. Here I am, and then I can directly go to my settings. Here are my report subscriptions. I want to subscribe a new report. That means I have to go to available reports. And as you can see, here is nowhere the job title role structure. Log off, log in with one of the members of this specific role. We can find them easily here. Here they are. So let's take this one here. Again, Miss Langelis tab, name of the person, web portal again, and in my settings, report subscriptions, available reports, and what we can see here is the job basic role structure overview. And with click on subscription, I am now able to subscribe the report. Herefore, I have to say how often I want to get this report. For example, as a weekly report subscription on Monday, the format should be a PDF, and then I can save the whole thing. 
and that is then my report subscription. So what happens now is that once uh, the next Monday happens, I get a PDF file per email. A second step could be to handle people who are not part of the application rule we are using here, but they like to get the report, but somebody have to approve this request so that the report itself will be available in IT shop. To show you that, additionally to our basic subscription for the attesters, I step back into my manager. Here we are. And in the manager, I switch back to my subscribable reports. So there's my job title role structure overview report. We can see here, this is the group of people who are allowed to subscribe the report. This is the people we configured with that specific application role. And now we like to make that thing available in IT shop. Therefore, I go to the master data page again. Uh, I have to click IT shop. This time I need as well a service item. We take the service item that exists. Here we are. This is a new service item with the same name like the report subscription it is. And last but not least, we have to save the record and assign the complete object to the IT shop. Therefore, I go to IT shop. Two steps to do. Please remember first in my IT shop, I have to assign the report to a specific shelf so that it gets approvable. I will use the line manager approval here that makes it easier. So I hit that one and I like to assign a report subscription. Here we are, the only one that is enabled for IT shop. Easy to select, save. And uh, this is only the half part. Now the report is an IT shop away level and could be approved. The next step is to ensure that you can find it somewhere. And this is in the service catalog. And therefore I open the service catalog, hierarchical view. We do have here a lot of simple things, but we don't have reports. So I create a new one, which is a service category for reports. And once the category exists, the next step is to assign the report. So I assign a service item, which is my job basic role structure overview. We do have two of them, which is not right nice. This is because of an old error. This one here, it's a it's an orphan one. There's nothing assigned, so I can just delete it. And I go back. There's a second one here. If I move to that, you can see this is my subscribe report. It's part of the IT shop. This is the one I want to sign. So one step back and click and save. Now the whole thing is available in IT shop. To show you that, I need another user who is not part of that specific group who is already able to assign the report. So therefore, again, I have to go to my application roles. In the application roles, identity manager section, uh, business role section attesters. This is the group of people I should not use. And I need now a person who is not part of the group. So take that one here that is not part of the group. Copy. And then I have to sign in. Yes, of course, we are here in the demo mode. That means we don't need passwords and any other stuff. And what we should see here, it's a new group of reports. That is what we created before. If I click on that, I should now be able to request for that report subscription. Here it is, my job basic role structure overview. What I'm doing here is now I request for the allowance to subscribe this report. Yeah, at present, I'm not able to do that. Let's double check just to be sure. I go to my settings. I look into my subscriptions, my report subscriptions here. This is the list of subscribable reports for me. You can see there is no job title basic structure here or job title role basic structure here, a part of the story. Now I can go back for request and make it possible to get this as a report subscription away level. Therefore, I have to check the record and say request. So I need access to the report for a monthly audit, for example. I'm good with that. And then check and submit. Brilliant. This is now on the way to get ordered. I can see that, by the way, in my request history. Here we are. This is the job I would like to do. This is the workflow that will happen. 
And you see this guy here, or this person here, Rafaela Broadwell, that is the person who will be the decision maker to say yes or no. And to show you the whole thing, I will say yes. So I log off and log in as the decision maker. I see there is something to decide for me. Here it is, the report subscription of Dale Fox. And yes, of course, it's allowed to do that. Next. Don't need any reasons because it is an approval. Here we are. Now the whole thing is done. And to go back with my specific user, I should now be able to subscribe the report. So I sign out again. I take again the account I like to log in. That was the account that requested for the allowance to subscribe. Here we are. Um, my approval or my request history says there was three minutes ago a specific data action. If I step to the workflow part, I see here is the positive approval of my decision maker. And there is something that says the next steps uh, getting calculated. I think this is a compliance check or something like that. So let's wait for some seconds and refresh again. And here we are, we can see the fully granted request now. It is off status assigned that says it is now available. That means I can directly step to my settings. Select report subscriptions, here we are. And there is the report available for subscription on the basis of an IT shop request. And this should be enough for my first scenario. We saw how to create a new report in report editor to make the report available in manager. We saw as well how to make the report subscribable. And in one of the next steps, we will show you a little bit more improvements on our report.